Local adventurer Taft Roberts recently returned from his trip to the Arctic, where he and four others were attempting to sail the Northwest Passage, retracing the steps of a British expedition in the late 1800s. All members of that crew perished after their ships became stranded in ice. Last week, Roberts talked with me about his voyage. We were trying to sail uh, um, from um, the Pond Inlet in, um, in, 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 um, in Nunavik, in Canada, uh, to the west through, um, through the Northwest Passage, through to Nome, Alaska. That was the intent of our trip. And uh, we'd been working on it for a couple of years, planning it and everything else, and talking to the Canadian government about um, ice conditions and everything else. And it looked like a, it, it was a favorable uh, year to do it. And um, we left, we left, uh, we left Pond Inlet um, on the August, uh, what was it, now? about August 1st. <clears throat> and there was a lot of ice built up at that point. And we headed north towards Lancaster Sound and went west. And um, we, we got about halfway through and we got uh, surrounded by ice, a lot of ice. As a boy, Roberts remembered reading of the doomed attempt of Sir John Franklin to sail through the Northwest Passage and dreamed of someday being able to make that same trip. And there was a lot of historical context to it for me. I've, I've always been interested in this part of the world. I'm not interested in the Antarctic. It's the North, um, it's, it's the North Arctic, um, the, up, the Upper Arctic. Um, and it's, 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 I, I just have always been very interested. And I've read a lot about it. And... Um, I, thought I always wanted to um, experience it. Robert's attempt to sail through the passage to Alaska was thwarted by weather. They were forced to turn back or be prepared to spend the winter stuck in the ice. Well, we, you know, it was, there was disappointment that we didn't make it through. Um, obviously, we, there were five of, us, five of us on board, and um, it was a lot of work. We, we worked uh, f four hours on, four hours off, around the clock for seven weeks, which is a lot of work. Uh, and and uh, uh, I would say the full cycle of winter, we had, um, we had, uh, we had fog, we had cold, we had snow, uh, and a lot of ice around us at all times, which we had to be very vigilant of. Um, and actually, um, after we decided to turn back, and the reason we turned back, as I told you earlier, is, is because um, the ice was refreezing behind us. And if we were going to continue on our passage south down Prince Regent um, Sound down to um, Cambridge Bay, there was a possibility that we would be stuck there for the winter. And there were a couple of boats that were willing to do that. And we weren't willing to spend the winter there. Most of us had to get back to our jobs and families and things like that. So we, we, we wanted to get out of there and, um, and um, not spend the winter up there. Robert said he especially enjoyed the chances he got to go ashore and explore the landscape. It was absolutely amazing, the intensity, the beauty of the immense landscape, the mountains, the, the, the ice, the, um, the, the just vastness of it all, just huge. My hikes ashore up in the mountains, the, 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 the wildlife, the, the polar bears, um, I'm just trying to think now of one actual moment, there were many, many moments um, that I can think of, but just walking those uh, unbelievably beautiful beaches and um, climbing up the mountains, seeing the different uh, wildflowers and different birds, maybe seeing, see, seeing, seeing the gyro falcons um, up there nesting on nesting grounds, the, the snow geese that actually um, fly past us in the next month or two, you can hear them at night flying, and I saw them on their nesting grounds and that was very, very special for me to see a couple of hundred snow geese on the nesting grounds next to um, a hood of um, muskox, right there. And actually I've got some really good footage of it all. Editing of footage shot by Roberts during his journey is underway with the hopes of completing the film by February. He said there are several individuals and organizations that helped make his trip possible. We had a lot of people help us on the way and the people that I really want to thank are the people from Winona, our sponsors, um, the Minnesota Marine Art Museum, the, um, um, the Frozen River Film Festival, and all our very kind sponsors who helped us on this. The Nagel, the Kendrick families of Winona, um, f for their help with the filming. And I would like to sincerely thank them because they, 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 they were very, very helpful in getting this um, effort off the ground and making the film. And we're really looking um, to, to be making this movie in the next two or three months uh, to get it ready for production 
um, in February. I think it's the third week in February. Yeah. So does he plan to make another attempt at completing the journey? Well, we sailed down the coast of Labrador uh, for three weeks, and we, the boat is now in Lewisport, Newfoundland, getting refitted for next year. And, and the, uh, the owners decided to make some changes on it, and we're going to look at it next year to find out what the ice conditions are up in the Arctic, and we'll be uh, over, you know, looking at it all winter, and um, we'll probably be making a decision in, sp in the spring or late spring and find out what the conditions are, and the, the, we'll, we hope to make it again next year, yeah.